Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show this 2016-16 plate, Audi A6, 2 litre TDI S-Line Black Edition, Ultra, finished off in Florid Metallic Silver. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back round to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we're using to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car, and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. So now we're getting back round to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel so the near side front wing looks in good condition both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good as well near side front alloy looks in good condition but with light comb to the outer edge so it will be refurbished prior to sale and the near side front tire has approximately five or six mil remaining so really good condition moving down the near side one light mark just to be polished up touched in on the end of that wing mirror there all the doors look in good condition Near side, a rear alloy, nice condition alloy, a couple of tiny marks just on the outer edge there to be touched up prior to sale. And the near side rear tyre, high-end Pirelli P0 with approximately 3 mil remaining. Looking back down the near side now, making sure we haven't missed anything. Near side rear quarter looks good. Both near side doors look good and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Moving around the rear, one tiny little mark there. To be fair, it's come off from my finger that moving around the rear lower plastics look okay tiny mark i think it might just be some road tar to get off there very very light superficial scuff just on this corner here uh, to be flat and polished and then that edge there just touched up with a genuine floor at silver <coughs> excuse me tail lights and tailgate look in good condition rear screen looks good with a factory privacy glass and along the roof lining looks in good condition too Looking down the offside now from rear to front, offside rear quarter looks in good condition. Both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy, nice condition alloy again. One or two light marks, the outer edge to be touched up prior to sale. Offside rear tyre, approximately 5mm. Moving down the offside, panels look good, one or two minor touch ups, nothing major. Offside front alloy, nice condition alloy again, one or two light marks there, ready to be touched up prior to sale. And the offside front tyre, approximately 5mm again. <coughs> Excuse me, looking back down the offside from front to rear, offside front wing looks in good condition. Both offside doors do look good, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Now moving around the front of the car, checking out all lights and grills, and the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. It's got the facelift LED lights. As for the front bumper, one tiny little mark there and there just to be polished up and touched in. Other than that, for the age and mileage of the car, it does look in good condition. One tiny mark just there to be touched in. One tiny, even smaller mark just there to be polished up. Other than that, it does look really good. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork on the bonnet looks in good condition. There are no major dents or scratches that I can see. And to be fair, stone chip wise, there's maybe one, two, less than a handful, couple there, just to be polished up and touched in. Very, very small marks. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. As you can see, <clears throat> doesn't appear to be any major chips or cracks, couple of light surface pepperings, but other than that, it does look in good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. Very large boot on these A6s with 60-40 split folding rear seats. All carpets and plastics look in good condition, other than light wear and tear. These mats, if they're for this car and fit, it's a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. And then all the plastics underneath the boot look in good condition as well. Moving through the interior now, there is a very light mark just in that tint there. Rear door cars look in good condition. Rear carpets and S-line kick plates look good. And there you have the full leather rear bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and nice fixed fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headliner throughout in good condition. Back to both front seats look good. Again, rear carpets look good. Climate control in the rear. Moving through the front. Front door cards look good. Front carpets look good with the front S-line kick plates as well. And there you have the full leather S-line seats. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns in the seats. These seats are electronically controlled, as you can see there. Jumping in, 
passenger seat is as nice if not a little bit better no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all so what we'll do is we'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we possibly can so we've got full electronic windows with electronic child lock control electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors manual boot release switch just down on the driver's door card upgraded bose speaker system central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle We've got the electronic controlled seats with two memory positions on the driver's side. Automatic lights and wipers in this car. Cruise control on the start and just underneath the indicators. Up the centre console you've got the fully adjustable leather armrest. Two usable cup holders. All the MMI controls in the centre as you can see, we'll work through those in a moment. We have the electronic parking brake and optional auto hold. Keyless ignition, automatic transmission, dual climate control, air conditioning, rear heated screen. Uh, recirculation and front heated seats stop start traction control and we've got full parking sensors with optical display as well now we're up to the MMI as you can see we've got full telephone prep satellite navigation we've got Bluetooth media audio streaming and a few other options <clears throat> and in radio we've got DAB and quite a few other options as well so back over to the driver's side, we're finished off with this flat bottom S-Line leather bound multifunction steering wheel with the optional flappy paddles. And this car is on a very low 56,000 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.